bites, tummy 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 Once you get your ingredients together, it's time to start. That was a mistake using that generic pie right there. <sighs> that was a fail. So I'm using the Starburst Cherry Gelatin. I'm pouring it into the bowl. And then I'm going to add my boiling hot water so be careful with this part that's one and a half cups of hot water then I'm going to whisk it and whisk it and whisk it some more until it starts to dissolve a lot in the bowl After you're done with that, in a separate container, take your Cool Whip, this is optional, whisk it before you put it into your gelatin so that it's not so thick when you put it in. And I did end up using a little more than um, the eight ounce container to my uh, pie. I tell you, your wrists get tired doing this. But as you can see, it's not as thick. It's still thick, but not as thick. Now to the gelatin, I just added one cup of cold water, ice cold water. There were ice cubes in that water. And you're just gonna stir, well, whisk and whisk and whisk and whisk some more. I had to speed through this part. But it's a lot of whisking. And you're whisking until it's if I say whisk one more time, you're you're whisking it though until it starts to thicken a little and you'll be able to tell that. Still whisking. And now it's time to add the Cool Whip. So you're just gonna put the Cool Whip in the bowl and you're going to stir it or whisk it however you want to do it. That stirring was, wasn't working for me. But it has such a nice color to it. Oh, sorry y'all. Accidents happen. Get 
get that wiped up. Hold on for a second. And like magic, it's gone. So you're going to whisk that together. And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator. It's supposed to be for 30 minutes. But because mine was, I think I had too much um, water in mine. So I ended up adding more of the whipped cream that's why i said i added a little more than the eight ounce tub but i also had to let it sit for longer than 30 minutes so it was in the refrigerator for at least an hour so that it could thicken Time to get the pie crust together. And y'all, this pie crust was a fail for me. It went in fine and I put it in the refrigerator and it was supposed to be in there for four hours or overnight, however you want to do it. Um, but what happened was my daughter tasted it on the whisk and she said, oh, it's not sweet enough. So I added some sweet condensed milk. I think that's how you say it. And so I ended up having to pour the filling from out of the pie back into the bowl. And when I did that, the entire pie crumbled into my bowl. That's why I said that part was a fail. But anyway, you will sit the pie in the refrigerator for four hours or six. And if you're not going to eat it that night, just let it sit overnight. Now I'm going to do the little, smi the little small pie shells. Those came out perfect. first one let you see how I did it and then I'm gonna speed this process up I hope that y'all try the jello cream pie no bake I did the same thing for the small pies. I let them sit on a baking sheet in the refrigerator for almost six hours. This is before I put them in the refrigerator. And this is after they have set and they are ready to be dolloped with some whipped cream. So I'm gonna speed this process up for y'all too. I did taste a little piece of it because I can't eat it, y'all. But I did want to do, I bought the stuff and I was like, I really need to do this pie, even though I'm not gonna eat it. So I used my daughter and I let her be my taste tester. Of course, she didn't wanna be on camera. So I didn't get her completely, but I did get her tasting it. And she was like, ah, it's okay. Not my face. <laughs> it's okay. different. How you open? My husband tasted it. He said the same thing. There it's different. And then they Ow. didn't eat it all. So I'm just going to be honest. They didn't care for. It was too Ma? sweet. 
honestly, for me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, being that it was Starburst, maybe I should have just used the regular. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a bittersweet. And I didn't care for it. So thank y'all for joining Talking Bites TV. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and comment down below. I appreciate y'all for being here. Yeah.